Miles winning her record ninth U.S. championship all-around title last night in Fort Worth, Texas, securing the gold not only in the all-around, but also in every apparatus. Yes, your ears weren't deceiving you. You heard it right. Simone Biles once again lived up to her moniker as the GOAT. After all, she very recently earned her ninth U.S. Gymnastics Championship title and proved that she is indeed the greatest of all time. She aims to compete in Paris, and it seems that nothing stands in her way. While Simone's brilliance in the sport is unlike any other, it's not the skills that she has displayed so regularly, and for so long for that matter, that stand out so much anymore. Well, at least not to the ones who know her best. Instead, it is about desire, not talent or ability. In that regard, she has nothing to prove to anyone. Her remarkable list of accolades speaks for itself. Her desire to continue competing is a different matter though. Essentially, what she does is as important as the way she is doing it. Her longtime coach, Cecile Landy said, I really feel like she is happy to be here. I know she is ready to be done, but I think she's really enjoying it and appreciating every meet she gets to do. Indeed, it looks like it. At 27, married with a seemingly endless collection of medals stashed somewhere in her Houston area home, Biles could have chosen to get on with the rest of her life. Instead, she thrusted herself into the sometimes unyielding crucible that being in the Olympic spotlight provides. Still, she seems ready for what lies ahead after registering the top score in every event, even on the uneven bars, long her least favorite. She needs to feel confident, and this time she feels confident, Landy said, adding that competing well builds confidence for Simone. Anyhow, she is at a stage in her unparalleled career where the joy she gets from the sport is no longer centered strictly on the quality of her performance. While she was all smiles when she joked that she believes she's aging like fine wine, she had the biggest smile when talking about the five World Champion Center teammates who will join her at the Olympic trials in Minneapolis. Mind you, most of the said teammates are about a decade younger than she is. That's kind of what excites me because I think they have long careers ahead of them," Biles said. So if I can do anything to help them, right now and in the future, that's what I'm going to do. In a way, it's her way of giving back. She is well aware of the spotlight that awaits her in Paris, and is trying to set an example for others on how to navigate the pressure that lies ahead. She has become a regular in therapy and is determined to focus on what she can control including but not limited to gymnastics. Case in point, in her season debut, though late it may be, she won her seventh career Core Hydration Classic all-around title. At the Core Hydration Classic in mid-May, Biles had the single highest score on two of the four apparatuses, floor exercise and vaults, and second best score on the balance beam behind Suni Lee and uneven bars behind Jones. I was just happy to be back out there get through those nerves again, feel that adrenaline," she shared in an interview later on. On her next meet, she came to the venue stronger than ever. On the first night of the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in Fort Worth, Texas in late May, it was once again Simone Biles at the top and everyone else fighting for second. Even then, she appeared set to cruise to what would be her ninth all-around national title. For context, Biles owns the most U.S. crowns in history, with eight total. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2018, 2019, 2021, and 2023. No other gymnast in the history of the sport in the U.S. has more than seven. As if that's not notable enough, she had broken the 60.000 mark for the first time since the 2021 U.S. Olympic trials. Yep. At 27, she recorded her best all-around score of this Olympic cycle to date, 60.450. She broke the 60. That was a goal of hers. Very happy with her routines, attitudes. Everything was really good, said Cecile Landy, who coaches Biles along with her husband, Laurent. Starting on the vault, she wasted no time, coming out in the first rotation with a 15.800 score, the highest on any apparatus, for her booming Yurchenko double pike. From there, it was smooth sailing as she ticked off a 14.650 on the uneven bars and a 14.800 on the balance beam. 
In the final rotation, Biles tumbled two elements named in her honor, a triple double-double and a double layout half out, to post a 15.200. Her scores lead every apparatus. After day one, she was first on this event. And everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Over her more than a decade at the top of the sport, the 30-time World Championships medalist has made the otherworldly feel routine. After witnessing her 15.200 on floor exercise, NBC analyst John Ruthlisberger said, Simone, she's like an artist. She's like a musician. People want to show up to see greatness, and she embodies it in every way. When June began, the then eight-time U.S. All-Around champion won her record ninth national all-around title. Her lead at the 2024 U.S. Championships was so massive, and her eponymous vault so difficult, that her victory was already all but assured. She basically cruised to victory at the Dickies Arena. Over two nights of competition, she recorded the highest score in all four events, and her all-around margin of victory, 5.9 points, was the gymnastics equivalent of a rout. In front of an audience that included her husband, Chicago Bears safety, Jonathan Owens. Um. Jonathan Owens, defensive back for the Bears and her husband, high fives all around. Biles put on a four rotation clinic that featured all the trademarks of a typical Biles performance. There was a jaw dropping athleticism mixed with precision and more than a splash of swagger. Biles finished with the highest two-day score in all four events, something she'd done only once before at Nationals in 2018. Her only misstep came on vault. She came up short on her Yurchenko double pike during warm-ups and overcompensated when it counted, generating so much force she wound up on her back. Still, she received a 15.000 for her effort, a testament to a vault that had never been completed in competition by another woman, and attempted by only a select group of men. The misstep didn't bother her though. She collected herself, took a couple of deep breaths, and then followed it up with a Chung vault that was rewarded with a 15.1 and put a ninth national title within reach. On the beam, there was a slight hitch as well. Not that it affected her performance in any way. In my eyes, what really makes Simone great? Moments like this, where she's off. It's clearly a mistake. Look at her heel so far off the beam. Doesn't even react to that. Just stays calm, puts her foot on the beam, and is able to not only break the connection, but finish perfectly solid and straight on the beam. Check At that. the end of the day, well, the event, Biles dominated the event turning in the top cumulative scores in the four events balance beam, floor exercise, uneven bars, and vault despite a second day spill in the latter. Overall, barring injury, she's all but assured of a room in the Olympic Village in late July. The question of which other four women will join her, however, likely won't be sorted out until the waning moments of the Olympic trials in Minneapolis at the end of June. The women's team to compete at Paris 2024 will be chosen after the Olympic trials, with the winner of the all-around competition at the trials automatically making the team. If Biles can qualify for her third Olympic Games, she will return to the competition where, three years ago, she experienced the twisties, a mental block causing gymnasts to lose track of their body positions and had to withdraw from several events. For now, though, I'm here getting comfortable and confident in my gymnastics and hopefully going to Olympic trials and making that next step towards Paris. So I couldn't be more proud of how I'm doing this time in the year and just gaining that confidence over and over, getting myself back in front of a crowd and just doing what I do in practice. Watch this for more getting ready for Paris content.